Hey guys, what's going on? It's me again. Today we are spending a whole day at Dead Valley National Park. This is gonna be so much fun, so come along with me and let's explore together. So, <laughs> this is where you pay, I guess. You know, I was expecting like a visitor center or something like a little booth with the ranger. There's nothing. So, I need to figure this out. All right, so here's one of those guys. But, what do you do if you have one of these? Here it is, what I needed to know. So we need to go down to the visitor center so we can get one of those tickets to display or we can just put this on the windshield. That should work just fine. Oh yay, found the visitor center. This is great news. Now I'm gonna go in and get some information because honestly, I'm completely lost. It's like super confusing. There's not a lot of information. Now I see why they call it Death Valley. There's nothing here, but we'll figure it out and we're gonna go ahead and start the fun. All right guys, so in the booth, when I came in first, they have a sign saying that if you have one of these, you can just put it on your dashboard and this is, you know, the proof that you pretty much paid. But I came to the visitor center because it just sounded a little crazy. And the ranger was super friendly and she gave me this little thing that goes on my dashboard and then I'm good. So I don't have to leave my car there. Also, I got a little map and I also got a magazine that is going to give me more information about the park. I have a very good idea of the things I want to see today. Uh, but now that I have the map and I know where everything's at, well, I still don't know. I need to read it. I'm going to plan my day. So don't go away. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> and before I start exploring, I have to have a light breakfast. So I'm going to have some oatmeal and of course my coffee so we are going to take a detour into this one-way road this is artist palette one of the most colorful areas in dead valley this is an easy place to drive up get out of the car and enjoy the views you can also get a little closer if you want to explore a little deeper or you can just enjoy from a distance. This is an eight and a half mile drive on a very peaceful scenic road. And if you decide to take it, make sure you have at least 30 minutes of your time to complete it. Moving on to our next stop, Devil's Golf Course. Just imagine trying to play golf here, you guys. I think the devil is the only one who could pull that off. Feels so unreal to be standing here surrounded by all these unique rock formations made of salt crystals. Very impressive. It is a very relaxing day here at the Valley National Park, you guys. It is the third week of March and it is only 72 degrees outside and it's a little windy, so it feels so amazing. You don't want to come here during the summer. You'll find out why later on, but I'm enjoying it. I'm totally loving it. It's so amazing. The views is like something I've never seen before and you know, I'm not even done exploring yet. So let's move on to the next stop and see what we find. And now we are going to explore Natural Bridge Canyon. About a quarter mile from the trailhead, I can already see the arch. Super easy, super cool. <laughs>
what do you think about the arch really cool right i got some really nice photos you guys if you want to check them out go to my instagram alejandro's adventures of course and you can see those and many other photos from all the places i've seen you guys were about to visit the lowest point in north america and it is 282 feet below sea level i'm excited about this one this is the one that brought me here i wanted to see it so bad and now we are about to check it out so let's go this is bad water pool and i've heard that during the summer days the water disappears there is so much salt in this water that almost nothing can survive here. It blows my mind, you guys, to think that I'm standing on the hottest, the lowest, and the driest place in the U.S. And don't quote me on this, but this could also be the most salty place in the U.S. Dead Valley is the hottest place on the planet, you guys, with a recorded temperature of 134 degrees Fahrenheit. And Batwater Basin is the lowest place in North America at 282 feet below sea level. And just so you get an idea, check this out. All right, guys, it's time to put some gas. <laughs> but look at those prices, 516, whoa. That's the most I've ever paid for gas. But I guess I have to. If not, I'm going to just not be able to get out of here, right? Well, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> then got for hybrid. I only paid $26. That was pretty awesome. And now we are driving through Mustard Canyon Drive. It is a short drive, about 20 minutes, depending on how fast you drive. We're gonna take a half a mile hike and I'm hoping to see some wildlife. This is gonna be fun. After seeing so much dryness, I'm so excited to see a creek that is actually flowing. Sound of the water is so relaxing. So incredible to see life in a place that gets over 134 degrees. So amazing and unbelievable. What a day, you guys. It has been wonderful. I've seen a lot more than what I thought I was going to. I started at 7.30 a.m. That's when I arrived at the park. It's now 3.22, almost eight hours. And honestly, this place exceeded my expectations. There's still a lot more I want to see here, but honestly, for today, I think I've seen more than what I planned. And I'm very happy with everything that you know that we got to see together but hey keep watching because i still have one more stop this one looks so amazing from the car and you know i was looking at the pictures and reviews and i saved this for last because i think it's gonna be epic so keep watching let's go check it out <gasps> Amazing to think that my footprints won't be here tomorrow because Mother Nature will erase them and make everything look untouched again.
sand feels incredible on my feet. <laughs> so relaxing, I think. Oh, I don't know. I just don't want to go home yet. But I have to, so I'm going to relax a little longer. And then I'm going to go ahead and take off. For now, I'm going to tell you, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have more stops coming up. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.